and the crowd just erupts when they hear Gonzalo's name. And why not? The man has been in boxing here in gym for a long time, and we're all expecting good things of him tonight. Hinch, um, John Harnett is looking a little bit anxious because obviously he knows the reputation of Aguilera and his big punching. And we're just about to start. The tight keeper is ready. The bell is going to go any minute. And let's see what Gonzalo does. A very, very good boxer. Let's see if he can pull us off another win for this evening. And away they go. They tap the gloves and it's down to business now. Gonzalo throws a nice left, just connects with his first punch onto the side of his face. Gonzalo looking fairly relaxed there, comes up with a nice uppercut to the chin. Puts in a nice left to the face and they do hit hard. They do hit hard. A nice one to the body. Gonzalo looks <laughs> that little bit better already. Let's hope he can keep it up. Gonzalo just keeping away, finding it. Ooh, what a lovely uppercut to the chin there. Didn't quite connect with all the power he's got. And when he does, I think the man will go. Beautiful, right over his defence. Called him on the side of the face. Didn't quite connect properly. Looking at the man again. There's Harnett putting a few jabs in of his own. But uh, Gonzalo, oh, what a lovely uppercut from Gonzalo. He's really shown his experience already. He's connecting, he's finding him with nearly all his punches. The big swing's coming in. And I've got a feeling this one's going to be over very, very quickly indeed. John Harnett has felt the power of Gonzalo's punch, and you can see it in his face. Gonzalo just waiting his time. He knows he's got to wait just for that opening. A nice body punch there. Beautiful. Oh, and he's hurt. Gonzalo knows he's hurt, and he's going in. He's connecting with a left and a right. What a nice... But Harnett is fighting well. He's fighting back well. Gonzalo took a couple there, and like a professional, he came away. Okay. Gonzalo comes in again. Gonzalo is taking a couple there. He did hurt his man, but unfortunately, just as he was caught, he took a couple in the face, done the right thing, and pulled out. And we're coming now towards... The referee gives him a warning there. Gives him a warning. And away they go. Gonzalo hits him nicely to the body. Ducking and diving away from them punches. Gonzalo gets nice, two nice punches, a left and a right. Gonzalo looking mean at the moment. What a nice two punches. I think the man is very... Oh, beautiful left hook into the corner. The man's in trouble, but he's fighting well off the ropes. Gonzalo just waiting there. He wants... The man is pulling him towards him. Well, Gonzalo really fought well in that first round and connected some lovely punches. Norman, Gonzalo really hit him well. That was a cracking first round of Gonzalo. This Harnett is a very tough cookie. And I'm slightly worried about Gonzalo's fitness from now on. Ernie talking now to Aguilera, trying to give him all the experience he's got. And away they go, into the second round. Harnett knows that Aguilera has got big punches and is maybe feeling them. Let's hope he's going to start feeling them again in this second round. Aguilera, oh, beautiful left, and another left hook. He's really finding his man with his left hook. But Harnett is a strong lad, he's there. He's taken two big punches already in this second round and he's still standing there. Gonzalo, I think he's playing it. Oh, a beautiful right to the face, to the body again. He's really put a beautiful left hook. I think Gonzalo's... That's because Harnett is so strong. He's been hit with big punches and he comes back again with his own. Gonzalo's taken the first. Let's hope he takes the second. A beautiful right and a left hook to the side of the head. And Harnett has got to go down sooner or later. He's taken a lot of punches from Gonzalo. Gonzalo ducking and diving again. Takes a jab to the head with no power. Puts his own left jab straight into the chin of Harnett. Gonzalo ducking and diving, very hard to find Gonzalo. Very, and there was a little bit of head contact there and the referee has gone straight to Harnett and he's given him a warning and that was very, very clear indeed that he did put his head into his face. A good decision by the referee. They tap gloves again and that has annoyed Gonzalo because he flew and Gonzalo is getting in again. Harnett a bit of a physical fighter, pulling Gonzalo towards him but I'm sure Gonzalo can handle that. Gonzalo looking very intent. He knows he can find his man. Beautiful body punch. 
and Harnett just holding on to Gonzalo. Gonzalo waiting this time, a nice bloody punch, a nice block with the right hand. Throwing some punches, Gonzalo keeping away, he caught one on the side there. He's got to get out of that corner, he's got to get out of there, he's got to push the man, he's got to push his man out. And he is trying, he comes up with a beautiful right, he's taking a little bit of punch in now, Gonzalez. But I'm sure he's going to come out of that well. What a lovely fight of the evening. Gonzalo just throwing leather, so is Harnett, both good boxers. Gonzalo puts a nice right in, nice one to the side of the body. That hurt him, that hurt Harnett. Harnett throws a couple and misses. Gonzalo, beautiful right from Gonzalo. What a lovely puncher. Norman, he's absolutely brilliant. It's good. Gonzalo had another good round. But I feel this Harnett is still very dangerous. He can half take some punches. I would agree with you, Norman, because Gonzalo has thrown some big ones at him and the man is still staying there. And we're coming close now to the last and final round. And what a lovely bit of boxing. Gonzalo tapped the gloves and they're away for this last round in this beautiful bout. Harnett obviously knows he's got to do something and Gonzalo, I think, is experienced enough to know he's got to keep the man away and just tick him off now and then with a few punches. Harnett throwing quite a few flurry of punches there. But Gonzalo puts his own there. What a beautiful uppercut, but just missed. If that had connected, it would have lifted him way out of the RAF hangar. Gonzalo ducking and diving, doing well, looking for a nice punch. Puts one across his defence there, nice one to the body. He's hurting them with them body punches. You can hear them from down here and hitting them again with a right. The better boxer so far. Unless he does something silly, this fight is his. Come on, ref. Come on, ref. Come on, ref. Come on, ref. It's about time, ref. It's about time, ref. He's really got to give him another warning for that. And away they go. Harnett, I think, knows he's lost the fight and he's got to look for the big punches. Gonzalo hits him with a left and a right. Gonzalo coming at him again. Harnett is throwing punches of his own. Gonzalo has got to be very careful. Hitting him well to the body. Gonzalo takes one inside of the face. The referee busted up again. Harnett has got to come towards Gonzalo. I think Gonzalo has got the experience and the ability to keep away from his man. Come on, Gonzalo, get in and do your business. We know you can do it. Throws a right, just misses off the side of the face. Harnett jabbing well at the moment into Gonzalo's face. Tries a left and a right, just misses Gonzalo. Gonzalo's gone into the corner. He hasn't got long left. And Gonzalo just counter punching from off the ropes. And the referee just baits it up again so that they can get fighting. Both men are very tired. It's been a hard fight. What a beauty of a right to Gonzalo. Gonzalo is hitting the man, but the man is not going down. And why not? Mm. We're coming again. We're coming towards the end of the round, and I think we've won it. And what Gonzalo has been absolutely brilliant tonight. Very hard opponent. Very strong man. Gonzalo's hit him with practically everything he's got, and he stood there. Gonzalo knows he's only got... And that's the end of that one. And I think that must be Gonzalo's. What a lovely round of fighting. It was a good contest, most exciting contest of the evening, I think. Gonzalo, I'd say, has well won it. But one endurable. You know, all credit to the loser. I absolutely agree with you, Norman, because the way Gonzalo was hitting him, he was standing there and coming back at him, wasn't he? Body punches, head punches, uppercuts, hooks. Oh, they was all hitting him right on the chin, and he was still there. Norman, I think we could say that you, this is amateur boxing at its best here in Jib. Yeah, would you agree? I would agree with you there, sir. I've got to tell you now this. Gonzalo wasn't very happy with what I said about him on TV, that I said he was more of an animal than a technical boxer. And he said to me he was going to prove me wrong tonight, and he's done it. And I said, go up there and do it. Well done, Gonzalo. What a man. What a great fighter. One of the best I've seen here in Jeff. Brilliant. A few weeks ago on television, you wasn't happy about what I said about you, but you certainly proved me wrong tonight. Yeah. What a lovely fight. But he was hard, wasn't he? Very hard. It was... I could feel those four or five extra kills. I could feel it in the ring. 
because when you hit him with the first one that hurt him, you went straight in there, and he came back with big punches, didn't he? I could feel there his power, you know? Yeah. His weight and his power, I could feel it there. So I had to stay out a bit and try to box him again and find him again. Gonzalo, you said to me before that this is going to be your last fight. Now you've won such a nice, good victory, are you still going to retire? Yeah, win or loss, it wasn't, that didn't matter. The only thing is, I've done enough. It's time for all of us to Gonzalo, you've left us the best way you can, on top and winning. What a lovely fight. Gonzalo, what I said to you before, I'm going to say this now, in front of the cameras, you were fantastic. I proved it. Yeah? You proved it, man, and you've done it for me. Well done, Thank you, Gonzalo.